Let's get into some Josh Doxson right next, right here, staring at you at 88. Um, I think there's probably some Redskins talk to be had here, but let's get into to Josh Doxson. He's a excellent downfield receiver. Hasn't done a whole lot in his first two years in the league. Did score six touchdowns last year, so that's that's a solid starting point here. And he's he's a type of athlete that can that can fly through the air with the greatest of ease, and it's very impressive to watch. What do you guys are you guys in on Josh Doxson here at, at 88? I think I'm probably out on Doxson here at 88. Um, I do enjoy. I think Doxson in this in that particular class. I think that was was it 15 that he came in with 16 with Colt with uh, Coleman, Coleman and Sterling Shepard in them. Mm-hmm. Um, I thought he was you know one of the better vertical threat. He's like you said, he's a great ball tracker down the field, and I think once you get inside the 20, he's a very strong piece in the red zone. I don't think he's a, a terrible receiver by any means. I'm just. I think I'm. I think I'm going somewhere else. Yeah, even with his limited this, snaps last this year, range here. Mid, three quarters of the way through the season, I, there was a stat out there where he was like top five red zone targets. I yeah, mean, the yeah. Redskins know that's why they drafted him in the first round. They know he's a red zone threat, and they were hit. I mean, you know, there was Jordan Reed was out. Pryor was already on the IR. They were down. They didn't have anybody running around out there really. And Doxon was getting the looks, but I I think this warranted because we know he's a beast when it comes to jumping up and grabbing the ball. It's just kind of like what Casey said. I, at, again, at 88 here, uh, but let, a couple me, of games. Uh, a couple of games. Let me argue a little here. Well, for th- me. Let, let me let me throw this out before you get going because I don't know where you're going yet. Yeah, I do have. I put a little bit of stock in what Doxon does best, and Alex Smith comes in. He's not exactly the best long ball thrower, and I know that's gonna. Uh, I'm gonna ruffle Casey's feathers, and that's gonna get a good conversation after you go, Jay Wayne. Well, I got something to transition into. into that, that doesn't stat mean there. Alex Smith can throw Doxon targets in the red zone from 20, 25 yards away, but he's not gonna throw that 48, 50 yard bomb on the money to him. I don't believe. Well, he so I was. Fine, under, he did fine throwing the bomb. Listen to this, to Tyree Kill. I was under the notion that Alex Smith's deep ball was the most lacking part of his game, but according to Pro Football Focus. He had a QB rating of a 131 on balls that travel 20 yards or more down the field. So if, if you're not sure, that's a strong quarterback rating. Um, the next closest guy is Russell Wilson at 103. Yeah. So he was tops in the league. And what that equates to in numbers is there was 33 completions, which was tied for the most, 13 over 1,300 yards the most, and this is all on passes completed over 20 yards right. in the air, right? 12 touchdowns tied for the most in the league with only one interception. Which Those is tied for the least. Ridiculous numbers. So, I mean, I, I that was like my kind of reservation was, well, Alex Smith doesn't have a good deep ball because that's just the notion. But, like, he was crushing balls 20 yards or more down the field. Now, I don't know what the stats are for 40 yards down the field or whatever, but who cares? Like, uh, th- it's crushing it. There's not a ton of balls going 40 yards down the field, really. Right, I mean, exactly. It's good it's point. 20, 30 for the, you Jinx. know. So he so two years ago his rookie year he missed all but two games, right? Had a, had a Achilles issue which caused him to land on an I landed on IR, came out that he had some, I think it was like chronic reoccurring Achilles tendonitis that was like, oh man, I don't even know if he can come back from that. And then like, I think he shed that. And I think that he's probably got some more explosiveness to game back because he, he's still, that's a tough injury to, to play through and, and to come back from. And I think he, you know, but he had explosiveness to spare, that's for sure. But there's been really no offseason chatter on this guy. And you know, I, I think I was a little surprised that he was this high. To be honest with you, it it is a little steep. But I mean, I mean, he's only been in the league two years. Yeah, no, and I and mean, he scored six touchdowns last efficient year. Efficient in the red zone, which is the best part of his game, and has always been a part that I thought that he would really excel at. I'm just, I'm a little weary of taking him at, at this this point in the draft. I would probably look elsewhere. But I mean, I don't. I like Alex Smith. I know he gets a he he has a, he gets a you know a bad, hard go, bad. but. I think he's going to be just fine, and he'll come into the Redskins' offense. And I think, you know, I think he's going to transition to what they got going on just fine. I think they'll put another piece or two around him. I will say to some of that stats that you just put up, I mean, Tyree Kill, nobody can keep up with Tyree Kill. So I was thinking you know, the same thing. It's de- definitely something that probably I'm padded, sure he helped that padded yeah. that stat a little bit. But he but, was so far ahead of the next closest guy. Sure, no, no, I'm, in I'm, all I'm, those categories. I'm, well, just, I'm saying that helped him probably go, get over the top of that that stat there but I, I i think i thought alex smith played great he was like qb three or four last season well, there there's no arguing with how good he was last yeah. year and Doxon's not quite the athletic speedster freak that tyree kill no, is but not. he's athletically freakish in his own right right and he, can go up, he can go 
up in the air where very few hum- humans can even get to. I mean, right. it's it's magic in the well, air. Well, to play devil's advocate, he goes up in the air and wins the contested catch, which Alex Smith doesn't want to throw the contested ball. Tyreek Hill's got you blown up, and it's not a contested pass. You just he's throw it up. Deuces. Just yeah, he's already got the yeah. deuces up. You throw it out there, and if you're lucky, you can throw it far enough where he didn't outrun it already. Uh, just, just well, we saw Alex Smith advocate. let it rip a little last year because he had nothing to lose. He knew he was probably. Not too long in the tooth there with Kansas City and them having moved up to draft Mahomes. So he was playing his ass off to try and get a next contract. Now he's got that contract, and I don't think he's the type of dude that's going to just sit back and, well, and just rest on his laurels. I think he's going to want to prove Alex Smith that he's been, really good been still. playing like, with a chip on his shoulder. Right. Everyone loves to hate him. He's been just fine. The, the, People the, do love the to stink hate him. around Alex Smith and the Doxon thing was about the tight windows and, and how – you know he was wasn't a tight window thrower, and Doxon is more of a kind of a tight winded con, contested catch kind of guy, like you were saying there. So, but he doesn't. So have some people have already window. been throw it putting. I don't know what the exact the stats are on all that, mm-hmm. but there there are stats to support the notion that you're you're talking about. But Josh Doxon's window is not as tight. No, as most I, dudes, I, no, you know? I agree with you. That's the best. The thing I liked most about him, like I said, when he was coming out, I, I thought he was one of the best vertical threats, and I love I love the way he wins on the deep ball and tracks it. Um, I think he's a really good red zone weapon. I think I'm going to probably stay away from him here, though. Well, while you were talking, I'm just like looking around. We're starting with Doxon here at 88. Like you just scroll down a little bit. This is just like a stinky zone here. Mm-hmm. I mean, this is just like ugly zone. I mean, I'm literally my eyes are attracted to Kyle Rudolph down at 106. I mean, this this is kind of no man's land right around here. So. I can't argue with you if you wanted to be taking a, a shot at a guy like Josh Doxson at 88. Maybe maybe with all the... It can only go up, I it, feel like. It, unless well, he gets another like Achilles injury or something. But I think I think with... He's not... the Considering he's been in the league two years, he's not 23. He's 25. So you got the ages out there that's going to hate. If he doesn't do good this year, he'll be 26 and not doing great. But just to throw it out there, you got Tariq Cohen sitting here at 89. Potentially, you got the Ty- Tyreek Hill bandwagon guys going over there because Nagy's in Chicago over there t- saying that he can move move Cohen around and, and make some make some things happen. So just throw I, maybe to find somebody that I would want to take in this range, not named Doxon, it ain't really that easy. I, it's I mean, not as easy as I thought it was going to be. Alex Collins is right there at ninety. That's a solid stab. Depending on where you're you're looking at, what position you're looking at. I mean, I don't really care about the age twenty five thing. I, I'm. I think he's a solid home run cut whose potential can can he gets a couple games and him and Alex Smith look on the same page and his value just sure could get cut in half. I mean, yeah. Well, I didn't want to pick out any of these. I didn't want to grab any of these rookie running backs without having the draft go through yet. No one landing spot. Obviously, Carry on Johnson's name looks good. Stuff like that. But I mean, old uh, Johnson, right? That guy. (laughs) But just like Casey said about the other couple of the other younger receivers, if Doxon comes out there and has a couple of good games. Early in the season, he's going to have a huge every every in dynasty. All the young receivers have a quick, fast bump if they start playing good at the beginning of the season. It's sure, just, just how it goes. You play good, and it's a quick track, which is from a tail. up the ADP. 